I am so glad that my phone doesn't automatically start the recording at three because I have a little gnat flying around. So you would have been caught me going like as I'm trying to like chase it around. So hopefully it doesn't bother me and I don't eat it during the video. So I want to welcome you to this week's Teach Me Tuesdays. And it is, I want to make sure I'm in the right spot. Hang on a minute. Oh, refresh, refresh. All right. Okay, <laughs> that's good. I could just see my blabbing to myself and no one even being there. Okay, very, very good. So welcome, if you are new to my channel, my name is Diana and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I am in Arizona. So I'm so glad you're here today. This is my Teach Me Tuesdays. I do those on Wednesday. And this is episode 94. And today is August the 24th, 2021. Hi, Anne. And I have so many requests <clears throat> to show coloring. And that's what I do a lot. I do a lot of coloring. So if you don't like to color, I hope that never offends you when you come to my channel and you go, oh my gosh, she's coloring again. So I am going to show you six, I think I counted six, different ways to color using different products in the catalog. I stuck to the same image because sometimes it's be like, well, that image is a little easier to color, that's why that works better. But no, I chose the same image all the way through. I'm not using watercolor paper. <clears throat> I'm using shimmery paper, and I'll tell you what I'm using, right, when I'm doing it. But I'm using shimmery paper, and I'm using the basic white regular, and um, and then a variety of different things. And again, when I'm showing you, I will um, tell you what I'm doing. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Susan. Um, but like I said, I'm not using watercolor paper because I will do that on a different um, on a different day. Okay. Um, so I think that's, now I will try to keep, keep my eye up on the computer when I spin my phone. So if I have any questions, like I always say, if I miss a question, because sometimes, you know, sometimes there's not a whole lot of chat, but sometimes there is, right? And it goes boop and I miss it. So if I ever miss, you know, your question or I don't answer it well enough or whatever, <clears throat> you can always email me or you can always put it down in the comments after the video is over and always the products that I use will be listed underneath now I'm using a couple of things today that um, are not from Stampin' Up! I just got them like at um, like a Hobby Lobby or Michaels you know craft store or whatever um, just because you can use like Stampin' Up! stuff with other stuff so and I wanted to use those because they are fun to use. All right, so let me turn the phone and we will get started. All right. Okay, so I, I do have a piece of paper down just so that, um, because of, I'm sure things will bleed through. All right, so this is the, the hostess code. I always mention that, right? My hostess code for August. So if you're placing an order in my store, this is the hostess code to use. And look at that cute little kitty. I just could not resist um, putting my hostess code with that kitty. So you might see that kitty more often because I like cats. We don't have any. I can't do real cats, but I don't mind the cute little, little eyeball cat. So I'm just gonna set that aside. So, all right. So we are going to, what do I do first? Okay, let me just grab a bucket. All right. Let me see. All right, well, let's just grab what you see me color with all the time. So the first thing I'm gonna show you, so what I'm using is, I'm gonna use this right here. So the stamps that I'm gonna be using is the Joyful Life. And I am picking, hey, Don, I'm gonna color the little pig. So like I said, they're all gonna be the same image because like I said, I want it to be, you know, so it's always the same. Okay, so what I'm using, and then I have just wrote myself some little cheat sheets so that I will also remember. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this little pig here. And this little pig went to market and he bought himself a coffee. 
or a hot cocoa, whatever, but he's got his little scarf on. Okay, so this is basic white. I stamped the little pig with the memento. And then these are the blends that I'm gonna use. Now I wanted to make my little pig be dirty, right? This little pig's been playing in the mud. So that's gonna make him be a little bit different than you might have seen me color him. I'm trying to think if I've colored him before. Um, so my little pig's gonna be muddy all the way around, um, no matter how I'm coloring. Connecting, oh my gosh, reconnecting. This better not happen like it did last week. Okay, all right, looks good, looks good. Hey, Mary. All right, we don't even have a storm. I am thinking, well, you can't hardwire a phone. Okay, so I'm just putting a little light gray granite just around the edge. Just going to make him pop off the page a little bit. Hey, Candy. All right, so that was light gray granite. Then I want to get my crumb. So I want my light crumb and my dark crumb. Now, you're going to see me use the crumb at the beginning and at the end because I want him and he's kind of standing in a mud puddle. So we've got light crumb and then I'm just going to take the dark and I'm just going to add a few more streaks. So we've got our, our dirt there. All right. Then I'm going to take, all right, let me get my colors here. We have our light flirty flamenco. So let me know if you can't, I've got my, my light come down, so hopefully that helps. Okay, so we're gonna take our light flirty flamingo and we're just gonna color a little bit on his ears, underneath his glasses, a little bit on the nose. And we're just gonna give him kind of a pink hue. So I'm going kind of quick. Now with the the blender pens, the Stampin' Blends, because I'm also going to use the blenders, and they are different than the Stampin' Blends. All right. So you just kind of move your colors around. So like I said, this was Light Flirty Flamingo. Then I'm going to take my dark petal pink, and we're going to add a little bit more. And I'm just kind of lightly touching, like... I'm just kind of lightly, lightly, lightly touching. So this is the dark petal. And I'm going quick. And I am going up into the flirty flamingo. And then I'm gonna get my light petal. So I, did I say hi candy? I hope I said hi candy. All right. So I need to keep looking at my phone too because that's when I know I have trouble when my phone gets the spinner on it. All right, so this is just a light petal. All right, so it's just cute little piggy piggy. All right, now I'm gonna take my crumbs again, and I'm gonna take my light crumb, and we're gonna add a little bit of dirt on the tips of his ears. He's been routing around in the dirt, and a little bit on his nose. And we're just gonna add a little bit of dirt here and there. Like I said, this is light crumb and a little bit on his feet. So then he's got a little dirt looking to him. And then I'm gonna take the dark crumb and just add a little dark here and there. And I'm just kind of, it's hard to tell, but I'm just kind of making like little dots, da 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 da. Like, like very, very fast little dots. More than coloring, right? More than coloring, I'm just kind of going da 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 da. So I'm just making some little dots. So just gonna give him, you know, like little dirt, little dirt marks on my little piggy wiggy. All right, cute. Then we gotta do his sunglasses. So that's the dark pool party. So sunglasses are dark pool party up here in the top where his ears are. And then light pool party. 
So again, I'm just touching super light, super, super light. You don't want to ground, like grind that color into there. We just want to have a, a light touch. So I'm just coloring that label of my cup with the pool party. And then my light crumb again for the coffee cup. All right. Then, da da da, pool party, or not pool party, poppy parade for the scarf. Got to have a little red. So we've got light poppy parade. And then I'm going to go over with the dark poppy parade. Now usually I add suede before I do my reds, but I just stuck with just the light in the dark. I didn't add that suede. All right, so he's almost done. And then we still have to do the insides of his little ears. And I'm just gonna grab my flirty and my light pail and just pull those two together. So start from this side and pull it in so it touches and pull it in so it touches. I wanna put a little green and this is, what is this, dark spruce. And I'm just gonna put, so we have a little bit, so we have a white stripe and a green stripe on our scarf. All right, then I'm gonna use a tiny, tiny little bit, not very much, see I made myself a note, not much. And this is the light polished pink. And I'm just going to touch a little, little bit here and there because I don't want him to be too pink. I mean, I, because, you know, pigs are pink, but they're not pink, you know what I mean? So I'm just putting a little bit here and there with just so there's a little shade of the pink, but I don't want it to be just in your face pink. Um, and his nose right here. And just a little bit. So see how, all right, so let me bring this closer. So see, you've got your cute little pig. So this was done with the basic white paper, the memento, and the Stampin' Blends, okay? All right, so let me know if you have any questions before, and then I'm just gonna put this stuff away. So here was the one I was looking at. You know, I always have one. So they look very similar. I don't think you could get one identical. So you could kind of see, you know, they look, they look pretty similar. You can see this one has a little bit more of, of that polished pink in there. If you wanna get, see how it's kind of stipply looking? You take your color lifter, if you wanna get like um, little stipply looks, you take your color lifter, and what this does is it will, it's just what it's named. It will pull color away. So, and then I just use the little, the little end, and you can just kinda up and down like little circles and it will lift some of that color so if you got coloring too much and you're like oh that should have been a little whiter just dot up and down just dot up and down it will lighten up instead of doing this because then it's just more subtle right all right so that will just kind of lighten up some of those areas but he is so cute so uh, that's the one all right hey mary all right so that that is that one okay so I'm going to put my blends, but I think I, I'm trying to think if I use them. I don't think I use those colors though. All right, so that's that one. Alrighty. Now, so now we're gonna do this one. All right, so again, it's the same little pig. He's just colored differently. So now this paper, and I'm not doing it in any kind of order, right? Because now I'm on shimmery paper. So this is shimmery paper, and you can see it. Can you kind of see it catches a light a little bit? It might not, it, but it does. It shimmers on both sides, and it is perfect for watercoloring. 
because it will take the water. It lets you play a little bit with the water before it pills, where if you use the basic white, and what I mean by peel is the paper breaks down and it starts to ball up and tear and you don't want that. So not that the shimmery paper won't, if you overwork it, your shimmery paper will, will break as well. So, you know, just, just be cautious with it. All right, so this is the shimmery paper. I stamped with the stays on. So the memento and the stays on, they gotta be made by the same company because look, the, the thing is this, almost the same, right? But they are a different pad. Stays on is if you're gonna be working with water. Memento is if you're gonna be working with the Stampin' Blends. All right, so there's a big difference. So you can't stamp with the stays on and then use your Stampin' Blends because that stays on will just react to the blends. If you stamp with the Memento and then start water coloring, the Memento will break down. So you do, um, if you don't have the ink pads, it's it, they're good to have on hand. The um, stays on, you definitely want to get a refill for because if you leave that lid off, it is like a Sharpie marker, basically. And you know if you leave the lid off of a Sharpie marker, what happens? It dries up. So that's the same thing that will happen with your stays on. So it also has this clear, this clear thing right in here. And it even says right on there, do not discard. So I took a couple, you can't really see them, but I took a couple of the black dimensionals and I actually glued with dimensionals this clear thing, because it's hard to see inside. And what that does is it keeps your pad even more kind of squished into the lid so it doesn't dry as fast. Okay, so back to what I'm using here, sorry. So this is the shimmery stamped with the stays on and I'm gonna use a clear block and a blender pen. So the blender pen comes in a pack of three and there's like a, there's um, some sort of liquid in there. And then you have the, the same size brush on each side. So what you can do is you can keep darks on one side, you know, lights on the other. What I usually do is, you know, you can either rub on your paper or I half the time I just rub it on my hand because that will clean it. And it also, I can feel that it's still moist because over time they'll dry up. All right, so, the, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna color our pig a different way, but he's kind of very similar, right? He's still got his little dirt spots and everything. All right, so let me put him off to the side. All right, so what I'm gonna do is we are gonna take so it's very similar. We have our smoky slate, and I'm just gonna scribble my smoky slate, and I need to buy a new smoky slate because he's almost dry. And you could also um, put little drops of refill, right? But I just grabbed the Stampin' Write markers because I hardly ever use them, that's why it's dry. But you could put a little drop of refill on there too. So if I find that my smoky slate is too dry, um, I will do that. And now what I'm doing is I'm picking it up on the block and it's just very subtly putting a little shadow. So I'm doing the same thing as I did on the other way. I'm just using different stuff. So it's subtle, very, very subtle. You can hardly see it. I mean, I can see it, but the camera might not pick it up. And I've done the same thing with the blends. Let me see. Now I'm like skipping. So I have my shadow block here. So I do the same thing with the blends. If I want a softer color than it is, I will um, I will rub the Stampin' Blend on the block. And then I use a color lifter that I have totally marked. This is the one that I use so it's lighter. So it's the same idea that I'm using here. I just do it with the Stampin' Blends and the color lifter in place of a blender pen. So I hope I didn't mess you up by doing that. I like totally, you know, I'm doing like squirrel. All right, so then we're gonna go, we have, so I'm gonna go like this, make sure nothing comes off of there. Hey, Joanne. So yeah, so hopefully we will still have no problems with our connections. All right, so this is Flirty Flamingo, right? Flirty Flamingo, yeah. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna scribble. So you can see this one's a little more juicier. And I don't use my um, Stampin' Rights very often, so that's probably why. All right, so I'm gonna pick up a little bit of my Flirty and I'm just bringing it over. 
and I'm coloring right on my little piggy. So fun. And then you just kind of keep coloring till you run out. So you just keep coloring. So see, I'm just coloring and then you just keep moving it. And then eventually there's no more color left. So it just makes um, coloring a lot easier, like if you have issues, right? Because it's a lot easier to get the highlights and the low lights because it just kind of does it for you. All right, so like I said, this is flirty. Put a little bit on his nose. All right, then I want to pick, so now I'm going to rub on here. Oh, Don, oh, can you show the one with the colors? Hi, Mary. Um, can you, I'm not sure which, oh, you mean the finished one that I'm doing? The finished one? All right. So this is when, it, I like the zooms because then I can actually hear. Okay, so now this was polished pink. So now with the Stampin' Rights, it's like you just have one marker, right? It's not like you have a light and a dark like we do with the blends. All right, so this is polished pink on the ears. So he's got a little bit of flirty, a little bit of pink going on. But I'm doing it the same way. And I'm just going over and just letting the color run out, basically. A little bit on his feet. He almost looks like he's Neapolitan. All right. Do, do, do. Let's put a little bit, spin that around. Let's put a little bit of dirt. So now this is early espresso. So the thing is, the blends color, even though everything is the same name, the Stampin' Rate markers, I find the colors are, sometimes they're a little bit different than the ink pad. So where I use the crumb on the ink pad, I didn't care for the crumb marker color as much. So I grabbed the espresso for for the dirt instead. All right, so just, you know, just practice. That's why I have, like you should see my paper, it's always got like like that, right? Like you wanna test it out before you actually bring it to your pig because you might go, oh my gosh, I didn't want that. And then you ruin your pig. So just, you know, and that's why I'm just doing it on, these are like four and a quarter by five and a half. It's a quarter sheet of paper. I stamped the little pig in the center. So when I get done using these, he is small enough that I can cut my with my cutter. So I'm just adding a little bit of dirt. Or I've still given myself some room. I can use a dye. So I didn't want to just color these and then throw them away because they're so cute. I'm going to use them. But I didn't want to, you know, stamp them up in the corner and then I'm stuck, right? So because I'm playing and teaching, I stamped right in the center. All right. So then I'm just going to do the same kind of tap, tap, tap. This also helps that you don't make that paper rip. So oh, that's just, so see, he's got his little bit of dirt on him. Hey, Debra. Yeah, so t today's gonna probably be like a longer video then. So I hope you don't get bored. I hope you, I should have said take a pee break. Okay, so now this is pool party. So I'm squ squishing it on there. Now the thing with, so I have this block and it's just a stamp block that the stamps go on. This is the one that I have shadow, and this is the one. So this one is definitely, this is just for the Stampin' Blends. Because they're totally two different things over the Stampin' Right. All right, so now I have my, my blenders clean. Nothing's coming off. It's just the, the um, liquid. So I'm picking up my pool party. And I'm just going to quick color the sunglasses. He's got his little sunglasses on. And then also his little cup. And then, now I've got not much room. I'm gonna do here, just with the red. Now the red, when you were using your blender pen and your Stampin' Rights, you do red last. 
because this, the stamp, not the Stampin' Blends, I'm so sorry, the, the, the Stampin' Write markers, or even when you do the ink refills, that ink is different. That is a watercolor ink. It is water. So it will, as soon as water hits it, it reactivates it, right? So if you have your colored red first, then you color his face and you by accident brush up against that red, that red is going to pull into the pink. And when you're using the Stampin' Blend, you don't have to worry about that because it's pretty much set. When that's dry on the paper, it's set. So water color is different. So that's why I'm doing the red last because I don't want I don't want my red to get in on, on anything else. So now I'm just taking my this is just the real red and doing the little scarf. And it was so fun doing these cards because it has been a while since I watercolored because I don't necessarily consider coloring with the Stampin' Blends. That's really not water coloring. That's just coloring. So it's been a while since I watercolored. So I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot how much I love to watercolor. All right, so there's the cute little pig. So this was shimmery paper. Let me repeat, so this was the shimmery paper stamped with the stays on and then I used a clear block just what you use to put your stamps on and then I just scribbled the stamp and write marker on there so what I'll do is I'll just take a baby wipe wipe my hand and then I'll just clean the block off and it's all ready to go so what's different about this one, this is the one I told you that I use for my Stampin' Blends. It's basically the same way. I scribble it, and instead of a blender pen, I use the color lifter to pull the color off because the color lifter will move the Stampin' Blend ink off of the block. But this won't, right? This does not clean that off because that's on there. So this block is always, and I have my little shadow block thing in there, um, I just put a, um, typed that on there and then I just stuck it on there so it just always stays with my blends. But the Stampin' Write markers, it just cleans right off with a baby wipe. Okay, so here is that cute little piggy wiggy. And the colors I used were Pool, Espresso, Smoky, Real Red, Flirty Flamingo, and the Polished Pink. And those were the Stampin' Write markers. Okay, so that's that cute little pig. So it just, he just looks a little, whoops, let me put my lid on my Stampin' Blend, or my blender pen. All right, so he looks very similar. He just, you know, the colors are just a tiny bit different. You can tell I used more pink on this one than I did this one, but they look pretty close. I love the little pig, he is so fun. Oh, I wanted to take a picture of your first pig with the colors written on it. Oh. All right. I want to keep them with their, with their box, too. All right. And then um, what I'll do is I'll also, on my blog later, I will put pictures on my blog, okay? But just give me a little bit of time to do that. So this was the first one, and then that was the second one, if you want to take a picture of that. But otherwise, um, I'll put pictures on my blog. And then you can always rewatch the video. All right. So let me move on. So there's those two. I just want to keep them with their basket. So I don't like go, oh, I forgot a basket. All right. So here is the third one. All right. So here's the third one. So this is that shimmery paper again. And this one is also stamped with the stays on. But this time I'm gonna use the water painter and I'm using ink refills. So he looks a little bit different, a little more vivid. And then these are the colors I use, but these are the colors I'll be using is flirty, smoky, the real red, the soft suede, the pool party, 
And then the polished pink is the colors that I'm gonna use there. I'm also using, and this is, this is actually a piece of silicone, one of the silicone mats, and I have just trimmed it down. And this is what I use to kind of clean. This is just a um, cosmetic I use this for my fingernails. It's just a cotton round or whatever. And I find that I have to squeeze these and clean these a lot more than I had to when we had the aqua painters. So I am, this is getting a lot wetter than it used to. And this just stops it from bleeding through the paper, right? Or Because if I just put this on the paper, it's just gonna get the paper all wet. So the, so I just cut a small one. So these are the aqua, or these, these are the water painters. We have, there's three of them. Now the thing is, they open the opposite. Like you know how, you know, open and close? They go the opposite. So you have your lids, you have your big, 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 big one. So this, I use this more just to lay water down because it's very, very big. And then you have a medium one and you just squeeze. But what I mean by to fill them, you turn them the opposite to open them up. And you just fill them in the, in the sink, you know, under the faucet. And then what I have found is don't squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them tight. I mean, you want it closed, but just you want to have, I, I feel like I like to have a little bit of air get in there because I find these suck. They suck more. Does that make sense? So when I'm done coloring, they seem to suck and they suck some of the ink up so that my water is getting a little dirty. So that's why I find myself cleaning them more, right? Like, because it's not just like the ink is staying here and then you wipe it on here and it's clean. No, it's taking that ink up into the barrel. So I'm finding myself squeezing it a lot more. And then this is a smaller one. All right. So hopefully I didn't get blabbing. Am I teaching or am I confusing? All right. So I'm just squeezing. And that squeezes that out. The lid, don't even. So they don't stay on very long and it just flies across the room. So just don't even put the lid on the back. All right, so we've got our cute little pig and we are using ink refills. So basically, I have squished the ink refill into the stamp pad. So I have my ink pads. So we've got like a palette, right? So we've got our polished pink are flirty. So, and then what I do is I just put a little drop and then I just pull from that. All right, all right, so let me see. I don't wanna open all these up because I know what order I need to be. All right, so I'm gonna use Smoky Slade first and then I can close it so it's out of the way. So we have our Smoky Slade. Smoky Slate, I can't even talk. All right, so I'm just gonna come over, finger in here because the lid, you know, kind of squishes down because I have so much going on on my table. There we go. I have, you wouldn't believe how much stuff's on my table. All right, because I work where I, I have my computer. So it's not like I have just this one table for demonstrating. It is also where I work. So I need to have the electrician come and see if I can get power to the big table that Jeff built for me and then I wonder if I could do videos over there because then I would have a whole table but right now it's covered with all social stuff and class stuff all right so this was my smoky slate so see I just went around my pig and what that does is it makes you do the outline first then you have no color to to get in the way of your face or your eyeballs and it pops off the page. It, it makes the little P pop off the page when you're done. So you always want to shadow first. All right, so that was Smoky Slate. All right, so red last, remember? All right, so then we're gonna go our flirty and our polished. So they are off, off the side, so see that? There's my, my colors. So we're gonna go scoot down Scoot down so you don't see my big belly. All right, <laughs> so we're gonna pick up some flirty and we're just basically gonna color like we did before. 
And this is the shimmery paper. So we're kind of coloring like we did before. Adding our color and let it kind of run out in the brush. So there's a little bit on his face. And then I'll go to the pink. And what's cool about watercoloring with the ink refills, you can get more than one color. So what I do is I wait till it dries. So see how the inside of the um, ear, that was just Flirty Flamingo, but I let it dry and then I went back with the same Flirty Flamingo over top and I got two kind of Flirty Flamingos. So see, because you've got the lighter one, but it dried, then I went over. So I've got two Flirty Flamingos in there. All right, so I'm gonna squeeze, clean that out, and then we're gonna go to our pink. So let me get my pink over here. So now we're gonna go pink, pink, polish pink. And what's fun is with the watercolor, you're able to, um, I find you can blend even more and get that watercolory look more than you can with the blends, right? Because I've got that water going and it's, it's allowing me to push my color around. So this makes me want to watercolor more. And I used to, that's all I did. But then we got the blends and now that's all I do. So, but, so see how it's just, I'm just putting that color on and moving it around. So see how cute he is? Oh, he's so cute. All right. Let me close that up. And then, so I'm gonna use the soft suede for the mud. And that looks like mud, right? Sheesh. All right. I put a little bit more refill in there than I needed to. Because what's fun about the refill, as long as you don't muddy it up, and that's why I'm cleaning, I'm squeezing, you know, and cleaning it on my little thing in between. So I'm not getting another color in in here, right? It's just staying um, pure. It's not getting um, red in there or blue. And then you can just close it. You don't have to worry about cleaning it. If you muddy it up, if you don't get um, this clean in between and you go, oh my gosh, I got red in my soft suede or whatever, then you're going to have to clean that out before you close it or you will contaminate your, let's see how dark that is. You will contaminate your pad. So just kind of Watch what you're doing. All right, little muddy nose. Little muddy belly. And a little muddy foot there. And our cup. Put a little color on our cup. And then I do the same thing. So I'm just tap, 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 tap. So he's got a little bit of mud on his belly. And then let's put some mud underneath. So I'm just, so there he's got that dirt he's standing on. And we're gonna squeeze and clean. Squeeze and clean. So we'll see, I'm squeezing that and cleaning that. So that's why that, I put that underneath there. Cause this is getting pretty wet. Because the last thing I want to do, well, not the last thing, the second to the last, we've got to do his little glasses. So those are the pool party. And I, and I pretty much stuck to the same colors. Let me stick this underneath here. Keep that pad from getting all crooked. All right. So I pretty much kept the same color. So this is just a pool party for his glasses. Clean, clean, clean. And then I can just push that a little bit. All right. Oops, and I've got the label. So these have a nice point. If you don't have these, these are really nice to have. But just, just remember you wanna open them opposite than you usually do and just I just have to empty them more, like squeeze really a lot in between. So when you're done with the color, 
Just kind of don't let it go gurgle, 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 gurgle back inside. Just automatically squeeze and clear it up. See, now it's ready to go for the red. So now we're going to do our little um, scarf. The red. You'll see how nice that point is. I'm just doing lines. So this is just the real red and it's just such a pretty red and that's one thing that's different too because I'm going to use the pencils even though it's called real red it's not as red as like the um, blend or the ink pad all right you'll see that's pretty pretty wet and then I just toss it in the garbage and then that's ready to go now it's got a little stain on it but that's fine. As long as no color is coming off it, see, no color is coming off it, you're good to go. And then just put your lid on there. And I just use tap water. If you find that they get, um, where the water doesn't want to come out of it, some people use, um, whatchamacallit, like distilled water or bottled water or whatever. But I just, you know, use it from the, the tap. And if you find that um, after a while it doesn't want to squish out, just take the take it apart so let me see so see you're going to turn it opposite you're going to take it apart and then just put um some vinegar and water in a bowl and just soak this for a while and what that will do it'll like um it will get the so see i want to do it this way and you have to do it this way so your mind has to work different it'll just kind of clean that calcium out of there all right so this is so this is the two so they're not too much different I put a little bit I was a little more uh, excited with my ground on this one but there is that one I didn't put happy holidays on this one because I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet so anyway so there's that one so this was the shimmery stays on water painter with the ink refills so there is that one all right let me stick that in its thingy. Okay, three more. So I have three more. I have this one, and this is the stumps and the gams all. So that's the one that we don't have. I also have blender pen. And then the last one I'm going to show is a black and white version. And he might be my favorite. He might be my favorite, the black and white guy. All right, so this is the pig. So this is going to be the finished one. So this is the um, basic white stamped with memento. Now this uses something called stumps. And they're like these things right here. I've also got these. And, you know, they're made differently. Um, so I usually just grab the stumps and then I have something called Gamzol or water spirits and it's in this jar. It's just a mason jar and so I have my oil in there and then I just put one of our sponges in there. All right, so it's going to be off to the side. I still want you to be able to see it kind of, but I don't want it to get in the way. All right, and then I'm using our watercolor pencils all right so let me get that off to the side so we are going to let's see I want to make sure you can see all right so I want to make sure you can see that that that, that right there okay so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing so I have my basic gray so these are our watercolor pencils we have a watercolor pencil one and a watercolor pencil two and to be honest um i just have all my um watercolor pencils with the ink pads so i don't know which comes from one and two so i apologize about that all right but i'm going to do the same thing as before so this is just my basic gray so i'm just going around my edge with my basic gray again that will make the pig kind of pop off the page and then I'm going to take one of my stumps and I have like a little container of them right I just have a little container of them 
I also have this little thing. So after a while, they get kind of cruddy and you just file it. All right. So then what I do is I take the stump and I just put it right here. And what it does is it soaks up that oil onto the stump. And then you just drag it along where the pencil is and that breaks down that pencil, the oil does, of the Gansol, of the mineral spirits, whatever it is. And it just breaks that down and now you've got your little gray, you know, it's just softened that lead up. All right. Then I'm going to color the same way. Now, um, now these are the these are the um, watercolor pencils, so they're a tad bit different than our color. So what did I choose? So we don't have, for one thing, we don't have a pencil for every color. So this is flirty. So it's kind of like old school, right? We're coloring on the paper. So I'm taking my flirty and I'm just coloring. Now what's fun about the pencils, you can color right on the paper and you don't even have to blend if you don't want to. You can just leave it as it is. Just color like you're in school. But I'm gonna blend. All right, then, then I have a different one. This is a different one. So the same thing, I'm putting it in the oil and I'm just rubbing it. And that's just going to break down and soften and move that color around and it's the same thing. I'm just coloring till I run out of color. I'm just going in a circle and I move, move, move and then eventually there's no color left to blend. And that gives you that light belly on your pig. So see, I've got cute little pink pig. So we're gonna put Let's see, what was that? Now I can't remember. All right, that was the flirty, right? All right, so now I'm gonna do mango. So now he's gonna have a little bit more pink. So we're gonna go mango. Is this mango? No, melon mambo, I'm so sorry. Melon mambo. Me and my, I can't even read. So this is melon mambo. So we're just adding a little bit more under here and then I'm just going to choose the other side and move that around so it's just a little bit darker than the flirty but like I said the pencils they're not to me they're not like the true color that our ink pads are all right so this was the mambo so I think they're just you know, they got as close as they could to watercolors and then just named them our name, our, is what I'm thinking. I don't know, that's just me guessing. Okay, now we're gonna take the early espresso. Oh, hang on, I missed a comment. Um, So glad you were showing how to use watercolor pencils with Gamzol, Mary says. Always have been frustrated with using the watercolor pencils. Oh, so yes, so this, I love using the Gamzol. And did I use the pencils? Um, let's see, hang on a minute. Blender pan. I'm trying to think if I have, if I have, I think I'm just using them this way. All right, hang on, hang on a minute. All right, so let me get back. So now we're adding our little bit of dirt to our piggy wiggy. A little bit of dirt on his nose. So what am I gonna do with these cards? Isn't that so fun? Oh my gosh, I love adding the little bit of dirt on my pig. All right, we also need our ground. I'm gonna use the big daddy this time. And we're just gonna blend that dirt. Same thing, rub till it's gone. There, so that's cute. All right, then we need our glasses. So the glasses, I picked a balmy blue. So I'm just going to put some balmy blue on the top of his glasses, or her, could be a her. 
Ooh, and I missed right here. I missed that little bit of pink. All right, let me find one that has blue on it. So see, this one has blue on it, so I know, hey, that's good for blue. Because it dries on there, and then you can kind of see that, like, oh, well, I used red for that one. I used pink for that one. All right, so there's our cute glasses and our label. Isn't this pink adorable? So this is actually one of the stamp sets that everybody's getting that signed up for the Fall Social. Now they're not doing um, with these colors, but hey, they're gonna be able to do it later, right? All right, so this is just a real red. So this is the one that, it's not red like you think. It's more of an orange red. So this one probably, is way lighter than than like using the markers or the blends or the ink pad all right so that's that one let me put this lid on and like I said this is just a mason jar those little squatty ones oh gamsol it's g-a-m-s-o-l it's like an odorless mineral spirits and what it does is it breaks the pencils down. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. After I put, is this still got some oil on it? Not, I'll have to come back and do that. Because my oil is almost dry. But anyways, so there's those two. They look pretty similar. But like you can see, like that um, scarf is not vivid like the, the red ink pad, right? Okay, so let me put my, and I have two more to show you. Are you counting in case I miss one? All right, so there's that one and the colors I used. So, so cute. And then I will just put these in like an envelope so I can always refer back. All right. Okay. All right. Da -da -da -da. All right. So this is, all right, so this one, shimmery paper, stays on, blender pen, but this time I'm using the ink pads. So it's very similar. So I won't finish, probably, I probably won't finish the whole pad or the whole um, piggy because it's very similar to the water, you know, the water painter. You just have to load up the blender pen more. So I probably won't finish him so we can get onto the black and white one. All right, so we're just gonna load up our blender pen with, but a lot of people have the blender pens because we've had blender pens forever. Like, and they come three to a pack so they're a great value. And then some people, they have a little more control, right? Because there's not water seeping out of it. All right. So that was just the basic gray. Now you could put the lid on that one because it holds. All right. So I'm just using the same colors that I used on the other that I used the water painter. So Gamso. Um, Joanne, I just picked up at, I've had it forever. I mean, it has lasted in that jar. This is flirty. It has lasted in that jar, like, forever. So see, I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just moving that color around till I run out of color on the blend. So it's very similar. It's just... Like I said, some people like the blender pens better because there's a little more control over them than the, than the um, water painters. All right. But you just have to load it. What I mean by that, I have to go back and forth more to load the blender pen up where the um, water painter held on to that color a lot longer before I had to go and get more. So this is the polished pink. Polish pink. 
cute, cute, cute. So now I'm getting a little bit faster so we can get to the last one so I don't get y'all bored. All right. And you just don't want to um, rub too much. Let me put some dirt and then we'll go to the last one. Um, because you can, um, you can make the paper peel, right? Especially with the, um, the, the blender pen. I find I, if I'm, because it's a little harder than a brush, right? Because it's, it's just a softer, I mean, it's a harder tip. So it's just a little harder on the paper than the water brush. All right. And then our, our, our ground. So see how it's already, like, there's already color gone? So I already have to go back and load it up. So that's what I mean by if you have the um, water painter, you can go and go and go. It holds on to the ink. So, all right. So let me just show you the finished one so you can get to the black and white one all right da -da. so this is so this is the blender pen shimmery paper stays on blender pen because it's basically the same kind of thing as using water um you haven't heard of it before yeah i think it's also used to like clean brushes i could be mistaken but i think it is but um, if you just look for Gamzol, it's now Stampin' Up doesn't have it, Joanne. Um, so that those that one demo with the Gamzol and the stumps, those are um, two items that I got elsewhere. All right, but and then these are the colors. So you know, so there's that little piggy wiggy, but they are so adorable. But look how pinky looks. Doesn't it look almost like? Um, like Neapolitan ice cream. Do they even make Neapolitan ice cream anymore? I don't even know. All right, so this might be my favorite. So this is the black and white pig. Isn't he fun? Oh my gosh. I love coloring in black and white. All right. So this is... Isn't this one cool? Oh my gosh, I love the black and white pig. All right. So he is, this is basic white cardstock, and just the regular thickness. I stamped with the memento, and I'm coloring him with the Stampin' Blends. And then the colors are um, basic black, smoky slate, gray granite. Oh, did I write smoky slate? I did too, right? I wrote it twice. Smoky slate, and then the lifter. So yeah. Gray granite, smoky slate, basic black, blah, 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 smoky. And this is a granny because I already had granny in another bucket. So I just um, got another one out. Okay, so let's do the black and white pig. All right. So I just, this one just tickles me. I don't know why. I just, I love doing fun stuff. All right, so this is just a light gray granite yes monochromatic right all right and we have a lot of um i could probably try it in the browns i just found that there's these ones all the the blacks and the grays and the grays um really um help each other a lot where some of the other like the browns there's a little bit of a difference so it was easier to to have fun and blend with these okay so we're going to take our light gray granite and we're going to do the same thing i think i started out the same with every single one of these i'm just going to go around the outside and i don't go around up here i am just kind of you know go around here now the dirt is going to be gray granite because we're using just the black and white. All right, so that's just my light gray granite. And then, oh, I still need my gray granite. All right, so I'm gonna take my gray granite and we're just going to add some color here and there on our piggy. A little bit down here. So this is where the lighter color is gonna be.
So I'm just adding gray granite. And we can always add more, basically. So, a little bit on his hands, here, here. So we're just putting a little bit of the gray around. All right. And on the scarf. So that was a light gray granite. Then we just basically start getting darker. All right, so now we have our dark gray granite. We pull them down just a little bit. So that we're gonna put a little bit of dark. And then that's where that money. So we're just adding a little bit and maintaining that that light color. Now this one we're going to use a color lifter even more. All right, so this again was a light gray granite around that side. And I did, oh my gosh, a while ago, I did a whole flower this way and it looks so cool. All right, so there's our little gray granite. Now we've got our light. That we've got different variations of gray happening. It's funny, we got a new um, comforter on the bed, and it reminds me when the lights are off, it looks gray. But when the lights are on, it's like blue, blue purple. And it reminds me of that. Remember that dress that they were like, is this a blue dress? Or is this a yellow dress? So it really depends on the lighting. So we'll just keep adding. I'm doing a little bit more dots. So we're just moving our color around. All right. Dark smoky. Up here with the dirt and the dirt. Underneath here. So fun. Oh my gosh. So fun. Got to add a little bit to the dirt. So we've got a little bit of dirt. So our pig is starting to kind of come together. A little bit under here. And then we're going to add a little bit more of the light when we get done. And we're also going to use our color lifter. So he looks even more dirty, right? I think in the black and gray. All right. Now with the, the, the black, you really have to be careful with the black because it is so dark. So this is just the light. So I'm barely putting any because you can really add too much of the basic black. But we do wanna have that dark, dark, dark in areas. Like underneath there. And sometimes if you just go tap, tap, tap along the lines, tap, 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 it's a lot better than rubbing. So just like I mentioned before, tap, tap, tap. I'm also going to put a couple little taps. So you really can't mess the black and white one up, I don't think. Because it's just so fun. He almost looks like a camouflage pig. <laughs> he looks like a camouflage pig, right? All right, so now we have our color lifter. And we're just going to do the same thing. So I'm tap, tap, tap. And I'm coming towards where these are. And it softens those edges up. So there's not like this def definitive line there. So just tap, 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 tap. 
tap, 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 tap. So he does, he does kind of remind me of a little camouflage pig. All right, let me get my light gray granite that we started with. And I'm gonna soften some of those black so they're just not too dark. So I'm just coming into the black a little bit just to soften some of those edges. Oh, you are so cute, our little piggy. Our little piggy. All right, where's my black? I'm gonna put a little bit in the ground here. Isn't he cute? All right, so where's my other one? So here's the other one. So see, they're a little bit different. So I just went back and, and did more of the little dots with this one. So it just depends on, you know, your, um, as you play with it. So anyways, all right. But I think that is, was that six? Was that six? I think that was six. So anyway, so hopefully that makes you look at your, um, and I know what, that was like a long video, so I apologize. Um, so I hope that makes you look at your your um, stamp stuff a little bit differently and go, oh, well, I didn't know I could use that with this or whatever. Um, yeah, so, so the color lifter, um, like I said, I should have, well, I should have showed you, um, how I do it with the blends. I'll do that another day. I'll make myself a note or someone remind me <laughs> that I'll show them the blend with the, the shadow block. But, um, so yeah, it's not just for boo-boos, right? Because that's what it kind of is. You make a boo-boo and you use a color lifter to remove that, um, thing. It just... It allows you to get a stipply look. It helps you get um, like almost like fur, you know, kind of like a fur look. So, so, but like I said, I have, this is one that you just use normal. This is just a color lifter. And then I have this one that I have marked shadow. And this is the one that I use to move color around from um, the block and stuff like that. So then this one can get a little more ratty looking. And then I want this one to stay nice, right? So that's why. I have the two different ones. So one is marked color lifter and one is marked shadow. So anyway, right there, see? Pop, pop, smart color, color lifter, but then I colored the thing in. So I know that that's the one. Anyways, okay, so I apologize that it went um, a little longer, but hopefully, so now I have some cute little pigs. I gotta make some cards. Little pig, little pig. All right, so that's all for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you have any questions, make sure, um, oh yeah, Susan, oink, oink. Um, make sure you let me know, ask me, and I will um, get the supplies and put it down below in the video. And, um, but like in regards to the Gamzol and the stumps, um, I just got those forever ago um, at Hobby Lobby or like Michael's or something, so. Anyways, I don't really have a link for those. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. I will see you tomorrow for my Whatcha Making Wednesdays. And that's 3 o'clock Arizona time. Same time, same channel. And thanks again for joining me. All right. Bye for now. <laughs>